Hello friends and welcome back to a new bullet journal video, finally. Um, I am so excited because I'm finally feeling more excited <laughs> about my new bullet journal setup. So I think in my last studio vlog I talked a little bit about how I haven't been feeling very motivated to use my bullet journal because I just haven't been very happy with it and I decided after an absurd amount <laughs> of research and looking at different notebooks and things um, to switch notebooks. I'm back in an A5 notebook, which I have not been in in like two years, so this is very new for me. Um, and I'm setting up my new bullet journal for the rest of the year. So I guess to first tell you about my notebook, I decided on the uh, Jet Pens Tamoy River Paper notebook that they carry. It's one of the Jet Pens exclusive notebooks. When I was deciding on what notebook to get, I looked at the Archer and Olive, I looked at the Loister, I looked at probably every like popular bullet journal notebook there is out there and um, I ended up deciding on this kind of non-traditional choice because one I really wanted bright white paper which the Loistrum doesn't have and um, two I wanted something that wasn't too expensive the Tomoy River paper notebook is I think around $20 which is um, pretty affordable compared to many of the other bullet journal notebooks that are out there and then um, three, I wanted something that was found pen friendly. And if you don't know, Tamoy River Paper is like the like gold standard for fountain pens. So that's what I decided on. Um, it's a dot grid notebook and the pages are so thin, which is like so lovely to leaf through. Uh, there is a little bit of ghosting, which is pretty standard for this type of paper, but I actually really like the ghosting. Yeah, I feel like it makes a notebook feel more lived in and loved so yeah anyway um you've just seen me set up my kind of cover page i always skip the first page of a notebook because i um usually it's like a little stuck to the cover and also like skipping the first page makes me feel less like scared to use a notebook so i always skip the first page on the inside of the first page i did a little collage uh, just to denote that it was a 2021 um bullet journal and now I'm doing a grid spacing cheat sheet page. Um, I decided to keep with my hydrangea theme for this spread. I love hydrangeas and the place we've moved to recently, all of the houses nearby have hydrangeas in their gardens and I've been going on a lot of walks and looking at all of the hydrangeas and they're just so beautiful. They're one of my favorite flowers so I feel really like lucky that I get to look at them all the time. I am trying to kind of practice and work on my line work a little. I don't really do a lot of line work in my regular art mostly, um, so I thought the bullet journal would be a good opportunity for me to try working on some more minimal black and white drawings and um, ones that really focus on line art. So yeah, here I'm drawing a hydrangea um, and this is like pretty much the only collection that I did. Uh, the other one I did was a future log, um, but yeah, one of the things I've learned over the past, what, like four or five years that I've been using a bullet journal is that I never use collections. Like I try, I always make collection pages for like books I'm reading and movies I'm watching and, you know, places I've traveled to and whatever, but I actually end up never using them. Um, I use... <laughs> I use other trackers like that are online. I use Storygraph for uh, book tracking. I don't even track the movies that I watch anymore. Um, uh, I use Notion for most of my projects, like tracking pages, things. So my point is, <laughs> don't make pages that you're not going to use because then you just feel kind of bad that you're not using them, you know? So yeah, I do actually use grid spacing uh, pages. I find them very helpful. So I made that page and I think it looks really nice together. And then I do uh, sometimes use future logs. I also use Google Calendar, so I kind of use them both, but I thought it would be useful to have in the bullet journal. So I made a future log. This one is super simple. It's 
uh, three columns on each page. Each column is a month. And then I did um, a like mini calendar and then a list calendar for each month. Um, kind of like how I uh, used to do my monthly setups in my traveler's notebook. It's pretty simple. I did mark out where all the um, weekends are, but because of the size of the journal, I couldn't do any like decoration or anything because um, as you can see, there was no space, <laughs> which is fine. Um, I love a really good minimal spread, so this is all good. Um, for the rest of the tools that I'm using, other than the notebook, which I've talked about, I'm using my stamps that I've been using for like forever, that, that will be linked. I also have two Copic multiliner pens that I recently purchased. Um, they have uh, nibs and ink barrels that you can swap out, so they're a little bit more sustainable than a regular fine liner pen. There's still waste that's generated, but you know, at least you're not throwing away the metal body. Um, and you know, the rest are just my fountain pens that I'm always using, and a pencil. I think that's it. And the ruler, I guess. Um, so yeah. Now I am setting up my monthly page for July. One of the decisions that I've made for my bullet journal, this new one, is that every month I want to highlight a new kind of plant or flower. So for, well not a new one, but like a different flower. And so for this month, for July, I decided to draw um, some water lilies, some lotus flowers. I love <laughs> lotus flowers. Um, and. I thought it made sense because my drawing theme for the month is water, so, you know, kind of related. Uh, and also, just water lilies are really easy for me to draw. I find them really relaxing to draw, and they're, um, I think I've talked about this, but they are one of my, one of my all-time favorite flowers um, because of a ancient text, a guwen, that I read when I was like 10 or 11 in school in China. It's a ancient text called Ai Lian Shuo, which means um, Ode to Lotus Flowers, and it's very short. I think a lot of people learn it um, when they're learning Mandarin, and um, it's like very poetic, and it talks about how lotus flowers um, grow in the mud but are still like clean and pristine and for me that's always been a metaphor for uh, myself overcoming my depression um, and like living with it and living through it so yeah I, I thought it was a good choice to start this bullet journal off with um, yeah so I did a very simple monthly setup it's just a grid calendar pretty standard. I have a little section for goals and a section for monthly tasks. The monthly tasks are like the really basic chores like um, washing the towels and changing the sheets and things like that because um, I can sometimes forget to do those things <laughs> because I am a real person and I forget to do chores. <laughs> anyway. And then the last spread I did was a weekly spread. I am switching up my weekly spreads also. I've decided to try doing a vertical weekly spread instead of my old horizontal ones, um, mostly because now that I'm in an A5 notebook, I have the space to do these types of weekly spreads. The traveler's notebook, you could do it, but it was like, it was too tight, it was too small. So yeah, and I am again drawing in another lotus flower, and um, I have a habit tracker on the side that you'll see later, and otherwise it's pretty simple, pretty minimal. I actually think the setup is really great for beginners. Um, it's really, really simple. It's only got like two collections, the grid spacing one and the future log, and then a monthly calendar, and then weekly spreads with habit tracking in the weekly spread if you want it. Um, obviously the flower doodles are unnecessary. They're just there for me for like aesthetic purposes, but otherwise the actual setup is super functional. Um, and the reason I did that is because I, I, I use my bullet journal and I need it to be super functional and I don't like it when um, my spreads are too decorated because 
it's like very distracting and it it feels like too messy for me you know so yeah um and other than that i'm pretty much done with my setup i'm really really excited about this i have not felt as excited about my bullet journal in a while um i will still be, be using my traveler's notebook please don't worry <laughs> um it's a beautiful notebook and i think i am planning on using it as kind of a travel journal um once i start traveling again and i'm also going to be using it as my messy sketchbook because my messy sketchbook um is my current one is a wish term and it's almost complete so yeah and here is a quick flip through of all of the spreads and that's about it i hope you enjoyed i am so happy with my bullet journal i hope you like it too i hope that maybe it was useful remember to keep things simple if you're feeling overwhelmed like i was um and yeah i hope you're having a lovely week i hope you have a great weekend um and, and that's it thank you so much for watching Thank you for being part of my cozy little space on the internet, and I will see you very soon. Bye, friends!